Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club and the theme is Zodiac, um, Birthstones, uh, could be Chinese Zodiac, so this is kind of exciting. <laughs> um, this is hosted by Nerdy Creations. Um, everybody's link will be in the description description box below so check out their channels subscribe let's take a look at everyone's pictures mine is the last and I'll show you how I created it so let's get started Today I'm using my wave gel base gel. I'm doing something different. I am using a regular polish in this video. Now I put the wave gel base gel on my fingernails to give it strength and a really good barrier against um, the dark color. Um, it is an indie brand by Brave Steva Polish and it is 643 Double Play. And indie brands, if they're super dark, actually any nail polish that's super dark has a good chance of staining your nails. And I haven't had real nail staining in like over a year since I've been starting to use gel nail polish. So um, because I like to remove my polishes a little quicker than normal, I also have a peel off base coat under here. So all I'll do is have to peel this off when I am ready to do my next mani. And um, this is the polish I chose to use. I just think this is so beautiful. It shifts from blue. It's got some flashes of green and a little bit of purple in there. And I just think it reminded me of a galaxy. So this is what I'm using today. So let's take a quick look at how this applies. I don't think I've done this on camera yet with this polish. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, so this is one coat and we're just going to let that dry and we'll come back and we'll do another coat. Okay, the first coat is dry, and now we're going to go in with a second coat. And it builds up perfectly in two coats. I forgot to tell you, before you put um, regular nail polish over a gel base, you want to remove the sticky layer on the base. Now for top coat, I am not going to put a gel top coat on. Basically because it takes like way too long, I would ideally you wait until the next day so that the polish is definitely 100% dry and um, before you do that. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to go in with Sash Vite, quick dry top coat, and this is actually pretty remarkable. It makes it all nice and shiny and smooth. It is a little bit textured um, without a top coat, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll be ready for the stamping. Okay, the polish is nice and dry and ready for the stamping. I have two zodiac stamping plates here um i wasn't sure i know i wanted to do the gemini girls and i wasn't sure one of them appeared that the gemini girls might have been bigger than the other stamping plate but they're not um they're the same so that's good one's a little bit different than the other one 
this is the one that I'm going to use today. I got this on eBay. I'm not going to actually list my sellers from eBay because usually by the time I do a video or use a product, they're not selling it anymore. But I will put in the description box like the um, plate number and what you can do a search for to find the items that I use. So I'm going to use this and I am a Gemini. This whole thing started. <laughs> um, I saw a plate. I could swear I saw a plate with two Gemini girls. Not these two Gemini girls. They were like, they were different. They had like straight hair. And it was, they were so cute. And I totally loved them. If you guys have seen a plate like that, let me know. Because I, I looked everywhere to get that plate. But that's okay. I like this plate too. So this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to use a glint of gold by Hit the Bottle, and it's a holographic gold. I'm going to try this stamper and scraper for the first time. It is by uh, Cece and Sissy. I think this one might come in handy for part of the image, um, and it is just a clear stamper. It's kind of sticky. And this one has a smaller head to it so if you only wanted to pick up like part of an image that that's what this is for so um but first we'll try this head this is the handle of it and there's a hole it's like filled with acrylic here so that your stamper head can't can't slide down which is kind of cool but then it's tapered, which I'm not all that fond of tapered handles because here you've got this big, huge, nice surface, but you can only see this much of it without, you know, like, I don't know, ruining your eyes or something like that. So that's the only downfall. Comes with a nice thick scraper. <clears throat> so the first image I'm going to do is the Gemini Twins. And I always find it you've got to, you know, you've got to know which way to scrape, you know, so that everything gets into the grooves really well. So I think I'm going to try scraping it down this way. Okay, so I got a really nice image. And I'm just going to put them here of here like this I thought the gold would kind of be a good contrast against the blue and then next I'm going to use the Gemini star constellation right here Okay, here's the star constellation and since I'm using regular nail polish um, there is no forgiveness <laughs> um, you have to get rid of everything on the stamper that you don't want to show up on your nail because you cannot wipe it off with acetone so here's the constellation which I'm going to put right here Like how that turned out and the last thing I want on my nails is this little Gemini symbol right here and what I want is just the symbol Right there, that's it. And I'm going to put that on my pinky. Perfect. 
The top coat I'm going to use is Glossy Seal because I was using um, sash feet on some swash sticks over some stamping and completely smeared them up really bad. And I don't want that to happen here. So we're going with um, Zoya, which I used before once and I got no smearing. So. Let's hold our breath. I'm just going to float this over the nail. Sealing the stamp design. Oh, looks good to me. I'll just do that to the other fingers and then we'll come back when it's dry and take a look at the finished design. Okay, so here is the finished look. You can see the uh, shift between this um, this polish really good when I get up close to the camera and it is gorgeous and the stamping is a little subtler than what I wanted but I think it actually looks really good it it does really look like the horoscope stars in the sky I think I think it really does so I really like how it turned out. I hope you guys did too. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're one, if you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye for now.